Hi guys, it's Adrian here from Luxury Time. Thank you all for watching all my videos. Sorry I haven't published a lot of videos lately. I'm extremely busy with an exciting other project that I will share with you guys probably in January. I'll give you some more details on that and the progress on how it's going, but it's something really exciting that's been keeping me busy every day, all day, and I will try focus on getting more videos for you guys. I want to show you a, a few Omega watches that we have. They're all from the dark side of the Moon series. I want to show you the one that I think from the five is the most special one, and I'll give you some reasons why I think it is. You'll be able to find all these watches that I'm showing you now. They are on the website live. You can buy them at any time. It's first come, first serve. Go to www.watchtime.co.za. So the first of the five Speedmaster Dark Side of the Moons I'm going to show you. The first one is the Dark Side of the Moon, the Black Black, they call it. As you'll see the watch has got a black face, very cool black ceramic case. The second Speedmaster is the Omega Grey Side of the Moon. Pretty cool as well with that gray dial. The third one is Omega Speedmaster gray side of the moon meteorite. So you'll see this dial is a, it's got a meteorite dial with rose gold hands and rose gold details on the bezel. The fourth one is the Omega Dark Side of the Moon. They call it the Vintage Black. It also has a black ceramic case. You'll see this watch has like a vintage look to it. The fifth one and my favorite one is the Omega Dark Side of the Moon, the Apollo 8. This is the watch I will be reviewing today and just give you some more details on it why I think it is special. And from the five, this will definitely be my pick. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on the history of the Omega Speedmasters. There's a lot of videos and content out on the internet on that. The Apollo 8 was the first human space flight to leave lower level orbit and reach another astronomical object which was the moon in this case they never landed on the moon they just orbited the moon and they got back landing on earth safely so this is the omega apollo 8. another thing that i don't think a lot of you guys know is that the omega speedmaster watch here series is not everyone refers to it as the moon watch or a speedy moon watch speedy tuesday but in fact the first Omega Speedmasters they were actually made or for timing uh, automotive laps so if you would go around a racetrack they were used for racing and timing your lap speed only afterwards when it actually the watch went to the moon where NASA got approval to take it it then adopted the whole moon landing theme and it's been called the moon watch ever since 1969 Okay, now I'm going to go into a bit more details of the watch. You'll see the dial of this watch. It actually looks like the moon landscape. So what they've done, when, when I got it, I actually thought it was carbon, but it isn't. They, they've taken the, the back plate and the bridges of the move, movement and they've colored it black or in some sort of way. Uh, gave it some sort of a treatment and then they've lasered the, the dial so that it actually looks like the moon landscape which is quite interesting so if you look at the watch from the front you'll see the dial has got a, a light shade of gray compared to the back of the watch which has got a darker shade of gray so that was made to resemble when you look at the watch from the front that is how you would see the moon from the earth and then the back of the watch which is a darker gray that is to resemble the dark side of the moon so that that would have been what the astronauts saw when they actually saw the dark side of the moon and no one 
else ha has actually seen the dark side of the moon other than astronauts physically flying over it. Okay guys, and on the back of the watch, you'll see there, it's got the date of the mission, December 8th, 1968. And it also bears the words, we will see you on the other side. Those were the words the pilot of the mission, uh, Jim Lovell said, when the spacecraft went out of radio signal, he uttered the words, we will see you on the other side, which is actually quite cool to see this on the, on the back of the watch. I'm, I'm someone that, that likes small detail in watches. And if I sit somewhere and just to let time go by, I would take my watch off and play with it and look at it. And I think that's quite a cool feature other than how awesome this movement is when you have a look at it. I'll go into a bit more detail on the movement of the watch. What makes this watch more special than any of the other dark side of the moon watches I just showed you guys is that for the first time Omega has actually put a 1861 movement in any of the dark side of the moon watches. You will see all the other ones that I showed you, they all have the Omega automatic 9300 coaxial movement. So here you can see the two speedies that I have. This one is the Apollo 8 one. It has the 1861 movement, which is a manual, manual wind movement. And here is the Speedmaster gray side of the moon. It's got an automatic movement, which you can see the weight there, which is the Omega 9300 coaxial. And from the front, you can also see the differences, whereas the 9300 has got two little subdials and the manual wind 1861 has got three subdials. Like when I first got these watches and, and hold all of them together, I thought they were exactly the same, but only when you look into the small details, you, you see the, the differences in them. And the, which is the biggest difference is the movements and obviously the chronographs on the dial. The Apollo 8 has three chronos and the other dark side of the moon series all only have two subdials. Okay, the movement on the 1861, uh, as I mentioned, it's a manual wind movement which holds a power reserve for 48 hours when it's fully wound. And the bridges on the back of the movement, they've also actually been colored black and then lasered to have the moon landing or the moon surface finish on it. Okay guys, so yeah, that was just a quick little review. It's not into detail, it's just some features I like on the Apollo 8 compared to the other dark side of the moon watches that there is on the market. The Apollo 8 is definitely my favorite one. I have a lot of different ones available. If you go to the website watchtime.co.za, you'll see all of them there with prices, with additional photos. So yeah, I just thought I'd share with you these models. If you want more details on any of them, you can just send me an Instagram message or either just reach out through our website and our WhatsApp chat. So all of these are available for sale.